Good afternoon. Uh, it's nice to be uh, back in Hong Kong. Uh, my topic today is uh, break boundaries for on-chain mass adoption. Uh, in today's talk, I'll touch on three topics. First, what Artella is all about. And the second, Artella's recent progress. And the third one, I'll talk about our roadmap ahead and how everyone can participate. Um, Artella is a layer one uh, blockchain. Uh, we call ourselves uh, EVM++. I will explain what that means uh, in a later slide. Uh, basically, we are EVM uh, compatible, but we go much, much more beyond that. Uh, and our mission is to accelerate uh, Web3 adoption in the world. Um, if you look at the today's landscape, Web3 is still uh, very early. And today's topic is about mass adoption. And uh, uh, there are many different uh, stats, uh, numbers out there. It's anywhere between a couple hundred thousand uh, people, uh, maybe to a few million people are actually actively uh, on chain. Um, and Dr. John just mentioned that maybe Mas MetaMask has like 30, 30 million users, but that's not actively uh, on chain users. Um, well, it definitely is less than 1% of the global population are actively on chain today. Uh, if you think about it, 1% of uh, 8 billion people is uh, 80 million. Um, you know, we are far from, I'm just being generous uh, using this 1% number. So there's a lot of work to be done to bring more people on chain. Um, people have different ways to, um, you know, increase the adoption. So it's very good to see a lot of people in the industry are working uh, on this topic. Uh, for Artella, our attack angle is through EVM. Um, as most people in this room should know, EVM is industry's, uh, today's pretty much the uh, default standard to build uh, the apps. But EVM uh, is very limited. It's uh, uh, slow, expensive, and uh, with different layer twos, layer ones, it's very fragmented. Uh, and, and to be honest, the EVM is just not uh, uh, the best solution to build larger scale applications. And our TELUS vision is to build an infinitely extensible blockchain network without boundaries. Here comes Artella's um, EVM++. Uh, first, like I mentioned earlier, Artella is uh, EVM compatible. We did not want to start from uh, ground and build another silo, another fragmentation. Uh, we want it to be uh, compatible with the industry standard. Uh, that's just the uh, starting point and th that's just the uh, you know the baseline uh, everything we do is uh, in addition to to uh, being compatible in the first place um, when we talk about uh, plus plus what we really mean is uh, we make great enhancement in two separate dimensions one is in scalability another one is in extensibility these two are different um, when we talk about scalability, we mean uh, the performance of the blockchain uh, for the most part to make the chain faster, higher TPS. There are many uh, technical uh, innovations we're doing, uh, including parallel execution, uh, including elastic block space. So we will be able to achieve really high performance and fast settlement uh, on chain uh, in a dynamic way. The second plus is uh, extensibility. That's our key innovation uh, comes from. Uh, so we are introducing a second uh, Watson-based uh, virtual machine we call the Aspect VM. That's uh, um, in parallel with the, the, um, uh, the EVM that uh, we already, already have. If you look at the diagram to the right, uh, our Tele blockchain really uh, has two uh, virtual machines. The, the one on the left is the standard EVM. It uh, supports the Solidity, the smart contract development uh, platform. And, and on the right is our Aspect VM. Uh, it's Watson based and it supports uh, uh, multiple programming languages like uh, you know, Rust, C++, assembly languages. Uh, so the Web2 developers will find it uh, much more friendly to build with. And, and to just to be honest, the Watson is just a much more uh, computing efficient uh, when compared to uh, EVM. Uh, our data and industry data consistently show it's anywhere between 
uh, 10 uh, to a few hundred times. So it's, um, it's pretty much two orders magnitude uh, more efficient when it comes to computing um, compared to WASM to uh, EVM. So our execution layer is EVM++ that has EVM and WASM. And through the combination of EVM and uh, aspect VM, uh, developers can build uh, larger scale feature rich applications. Uh, that will enable mass adoption in the long run. Um, let's look at uh, a few use cases. Um, Artella blockchain, we already completed the first phase of uh, public testnet recently. Uh, developers around the world have built some interesting uh, use cases. Um, just the taking advantage of uh, Artella's uh, unique aspect uh, technology. So in this case, uh, it's actually uh, built uh, with the our close partner, uh, today's host, Zen. Uh, they built a KYT uh, aspect. So when we uh, think about the mass adoption for uh, use cases, uh, in, in today's blockchain, the Web3 world, DeFi is one of the most important use case categories uh, out there. A lot of people want to use DeFi uh, apps, but people are often afraid because of the security concern, because all the hacks, uh, you know, all the issues have happened, people lose their uh, asset, lose their uh, money, basically. So uh, with the power of Aspect, it's totally possible to bring enter enterprise level of risk control, of risk management on chain uh, with the Artelis uh, DeFi applications. In this case, Zen built a KYT. So the KYT is uh, a know your transaction, that's just that, that's an aspect and that goes along with your DeFi application. So it's like having a, uh, a security guard that goes with you uh, when you use your DeFi applications. Uh, it's also possible to enable compliant uh, type of applications like um, uh, anti-money laundry. And go be if we go beyond that, we are working with uh, a few other uh, partners on security, on type of uh, uh, aspects, uh, s s more than just know your um, transactions. There are other different risk controls, uh, different separate uh, security aspects we can use. So these will enable uh, the foundation for just a lot, just more broad user base for DeFi. The second use case is built by a cellular. It's a, a gaming company. They, they built a on-chain NPC in one of their, one of their games. Uh, what does this mean? So uh, the, game, the game concept here is actually pretty simple. It, it's like Pac-Man. Um, the user controls uh, your character to go you know, navigate through this maze, uh, trying to collect uh, points uh, and uh, uh, the coins, uh, avoiding the, uh, you know, the ghost or multiple ghosts, right? So the concept is, is simple, the game is simple, but the challenge is really to, to build it, to bring it fully on-chain. Originally, they, they have an off-chain solution, they have a game engine uh, that's Java-based. They, they were trying to bring it on-chain to EVM, but it was just totally uh, impossible because the slowness and the cost uh, of EVM. With the power of Aspect, they were able to build this, bring this game engine on-chain. So they, the, the, the NPC can do the uh, uh, real-time routing, uh, automation, and higher level of strategies. Uh, and it works in a very uh, smooth way. So that's just the one use case. Through the combination of EVM and the aspect of VM, uh, we can bring these fully on-chain games um, a reality. So the third one is about AI. A lot of people are talking about AI and crypto today. Uh, I listened to one talk this morning. Uh, someone mentioned that uh, if you were to, uh, to run a training, uh, large language model training uh, within EVM on Ethereum blockchain, it would cost $10 billion, US dollars, and it would take 1,000 years. So it's uh, pretty much uh, just, that's a non-starter. You just cannot do that. Um, like I mentioned earlier, that uh, uh, Walsam is just much more efficient with the aspect of VM. It's uh, two orders uh, magnitude of more efficient. So we can, uh, it's still early, but it's feasible to think about, envision a uh, aspect-based AI agent that's going to help the user 
uh, with your DeFi application, with your gaming. So it's, a, it's like having a real-time AI agent with you uh, uh, when it comes to on-chain strategies, on-chain automations. Um, this is the, our testnet update. Uh, we, we started our public testnet in January, so it's been just about three months. Uh, we, here's some of the on-chain numbers. We supported more than 3 million transactions. Uh, we have a, about 200,000 uh, active uh, on-chain uh, wallets. Uh, when it comes to ecosystems, we have uh, uh, 70 partners, uh, developers built like 200 use cases, and 30 of them uh, actually uh, uses the aspects. Uh, we also built a uh, pretty vibrant uh, global community. We have uh, more than 100,000 uh, Discord members and uh, more than 80,000 uh, Twitter followers. And these, all these numbers uh, are increasing every day. Roadmap update. Um, <clears throat> we are just entering the second uh, phase of our public testnet in April. So we are doing aspect uh, upgrade and uh, we bring the parallelization to EVM uh, to achieve the much better, higher performance. Uh, and uh, going into July, we'll do a final phase of uh, testnet. Then uh, we will, uh, everything with the, will lead up to the um, Q3 uh, mainnet launch and, uh, and token launch at the time. Um, and along this way from now and uh, uh, to September, we'll do a lot of community campaigns. Uh, we'll do uh, incentivized testnet campaigns. Uh, we'll also do uh, some incubation programs. Renaissance plan. This is uh, our TELUS incent holistic incentive uh, testnet um, campaign. Uh, we will start uh, uh, next month. Uh, there are three phases from cornerstone to enlightenment to renaissance, uh, you know, these big names. Uh, but basically, we, first, we're going to bring on board uh, more EVM compatible D, uh, D apps. Uh, then the second stage will focus on building D apps uh, with the aspect. Uh, we, like I said, we we'll have more incentives coming, uh, and all the way for retail for uh, community members to participate um, in later uh, phase of the campaign. And uh, to to wrap things up, uh, this is uh, the combo code uh, for our Telus. Uh, website and social channels and uh, uh, you know documents there there's a lot of uh, information in these channels uh, developers you can go in and uh, you know find more information there and uh, some of our team members also also here uh, you're welcome to find out one of us and talk to us we look forward to uh, to talking to developers and community community members we also welcome uh, partners and uh, investors to be part of our growth journey going forward Last uh, but not least, uh, this is a bonus uh, for the people on site here today, is uh, uh, we're having an after party uh, tonight. Uh, Artella and uh, Zen and uh, you know, Trusta and a few other, uh, our partners. Uh, and uh, it's, it'll be in Renaissance Hotel, a good name. Uh, uh, I was told there's still a few spots available. Uh, feel free to uh, register and uh, come to our party after a long day of conference. It would be good to talk to you together and have a good time. All right, thanks.